People who live in rural parts of Alberta have a significant problem in being able to get access to specialist rehabilitation services. They have long distances to travel. Um, there is a serious shortage of people with that expertise who live in rural and remote parts of, of Canada. And so um, what we're trying to do is instead of them coming to us, we're trying to bring those services to them using modern technology, such as video conferencing and some other technologies that we're using in this project. Telerehab 2.0 is a project that is intended to help connect people who have um, various chronic conditions who live in remote parts of Alberta and Northwest Territories and connect them to a specialist clinician for example in Edmonton or Calgary at one of our hub locations and to be able to really access specialist rehabilitation services that are not available in the more remote rural parts of Alberta. So in terms of the technologies that we're developing, um, we're working with a company which is an Alberta-based company called Kinetisense to create some special applications of their technology that will enable us to undertake the kinds of assessments I was describing. So this is a, what we call a markerless motion capture system that enables us to make measurements of someone by simply pointing a low-cost camera at them and then it will measure things like their range of motion, their sway, how balanced they are, how symmetrical they are and so on. So that's one of the technologies. Another technology um, is to overcome the question we have and that is if you're in a remote location and pushing against a physical therapist for example and you want the person in the urban hub location to know how big that force is, how do you communicate that information? So we're developing a technology involving the use of the clinician's EMG, which is their muscle activity, to give us an indication as to how hard the patient is pushing against them um, and then communicating that back to the hub location. So this particular project is looking at the problems of patients who have balance and vertigo, so issues that may be affecting them in terms of um, being at risk for falling or maybe feeling very queasy and almost seasick as a result of, um, of vertigo, which is very treatable using rehabilitation services. Another group that we're working with are people who have um, significant shoulder pain and uh, we're looking at assessments that can determine whether or not that person should receive conservative treatment such as physical therapy. And then another group or a group of people who've had a hip or knee replacement and who need to be followed up afterwards to make sure that that hip or knee replacement has, has worked out, that there are no complications as a result of the surgery. And then the last group is a very interesting group. It's a group of people who need special seating and wheelchair assessments who live in remote settings. And those are highly specialized services that are really difficult for people to access if they're living in a remote setting. And so it's quite complicated to be able to do that using video conferencing and IT kind of assessment. But we think that this is going to move the bar and uh, enable us to really help to support people with those conditions as well.